Hey everybody, this is just a quick video. Uh, it was requested by some of our users um, to just kind of go over some of the some of the basic functionality of MB. Uh, what's the best way to find videos? How to find you know new releases and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go go over a couple of the commonly asked questions. Um, the first one is how do we find new movies like new releases and whatnot? Um, the best way is you want to first go into your movie section. So here we have our movies. We're going to click it. And if you want to see the newest releases, the best way is if you go over here on the right side of the screen, you'll see these little little icons. This one right here, it looks like, a, uh, like the letter Y. That's actually a filter. So if we click that, it'll let us uh, filter what we see. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see year and what you can do is you can turn that into 2023 or 24 or whatever and it'll show all the movies that have come out that year so if you scroll down to the bottom here um, let's let's choose 2023 and now when we go back out it'll go ahead and it'll sort all of our movies and it's going to show there you go it's got you got the 2023 releases um, and again, if you go back in there, now you want to see 2024 stuff. You go right back over there to the icon. Oop. Right here. And you can add another filter. We're going to add, let's add the 24 under there. Now it's also it's going to throw in our, when you go back, it's going to throw in the 2024 releases as well. So that's one of the, one of the fastest way to see that uh, new releases. Another way. Uh, let me go ahead and clear this filter. I'll go back to filter. You can click clear all right there. Let's click get rid of that. Okay, now we're back to how it was. Another way, <clears throat> up at the top, you'll see these different categories. So once again, let me go back. You make sure you're in the movie section. So click movies. And if you click up here at the top, See where it says suggestions? If you click that, then you scroll down, it'll it'll show you some of the latest movies that were released onto the server. This doesn't necessarily mean new releases like 2024 or whatever. It's there are new titles that have been added to the server. These were just added, so you can see the backgrounds haven't loaded in yet. Um, normally, within an hour or two, these will fill in, and then you can go down even farther. And it'll suggest other movies, but that's uh, that's two ways of doing that. Uh, another another thing people ask about is um, how do you add favorites? So let's say there's a series that you really like. Let's go over here to uh, TV shows, and let's say you you search through the shows and you found something you really like. Uh, let me just pick something random here. third rock so what you can do is you can click it and if you scroll over here to these little dots you click that and you can click add favorite and what that'll do is it'll add your it'll add this into your favorites into to, to get to your favorites once you're on the home screen here at the top you just click it and it's going to list all of your shows or movies your favorite movies or shows right here you can see we got our favorite mo favorite movies collections and then it'll it'll have your shows so as you add stuff to the favorites it'll divide them it'll show you your favorite movies your collections that you favorite and also your favorite shows and it'll keep those all all lined up for you um, uh, another cool thing that you can do is uh, there's a thing called collections so let's say there's a bunch of christmas movies that you like um what you can do is you can make your own collections so you can go through and add the hundreds and hundreds of different christmas movies into a collection and then every year go in there and just watch them and to do that uh let's go into movies and you can do this with shows as well uh so let me think 
Let's see if there's oh right there. There's a Christmas movie right there. So let's say we wanted to to make a collection of Christmas movies. We can click it. And once again, we scroll over. So to add it to a collection, I should actually I should call it a playlist. It's kind of like a playlist. You can make a Christmas playlist, for example. Scroll over here to more. And then we're going to click add to playlist. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to name it. Let's name it. Uh, unless there already is a, a Christmas one. Let me see. So nobody's made a Christmas one yet. So we're going to hit new. And we're going to name it. We're going to name it Christmas. Let's just call it Xmas. Xmas. And then you hit this little enter button here. And then we're going to click OK. So and what that does is it created your playlist, the Christmas playlist. Now to look at it, we can go back to the home page. Oops. Let's get back in MB here. Get back to the home screen. Uh, now if you scroll over here to, um, where is it? Right here, playlists. Click that. And if you scroll, let's see where it is here. Right here. You'll see it shows up. Xmas. And then when you click it, once you add it up, if you have hundreds and hundreds of different movies, it'll all be in a row. And you can click play all. You can shuffle them. Uh, scroll down and pick which one you want. And they'll all be right there for you. Um, and one last little tip. Um, you notice we have a lot of movies, um, a lot of also foreign films, stuff that has where the subtitles will load in like a different language sometimes. What you can do is you can you can set up MB to automatically, no matter what, play, for example, in Spanish or English or whatever, regardless of the movie you pick. So let's say you picked Sing and it, and it came up in Spanish or whatever, and you know, you're tired of having to always go in and change it. What you can do is you can make it so MB will automatically always play the movie in English. So to do that, up at the top here, you go to settings. And you click on down here at the very bottom where it says sub slash audio defaults. And what you want to do is right here where it says uh, preferred audio language, make sure that that is set on English. Um, I know a lot of people's MBs will be set to auto or something other than English. If you change it, and then you click right here below. It says play default audio track regardless of language. Um, if you uncheck that, it'll always play in English if it's available. Also, your preferred subtitle language, you can set that to English. So no matter what, it'll always come out as English. And subtitle mode, um, I think it's automatically set at default. We don't, we don't really ever need subtitles, so you can turn that off. So you can see here we have it selected as none. Um, so what that'll do is no matter what, every time, whatever you load up, it'll automatically play in English. The subtitles will be turned off so you don't got to mess with it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just a couple of other, uh, tips that I could, that I could think of. Uh, you guys enjoy the app.